Cricket, that legendary nation-building game. Filled with iconic legends, but where would they be without green grass to play it on? The Australian grass-growing team, captained by Ricky Potting Mix and including such greats as Shane Lorne and Glenn McGrath, have a mammoth 12 grass-growing victories under their belts and are still growing strong. Now, can England, captained by Michael Vine and including legends such as Graham Cooch and newcomer Marcus Trees Growthick, keep their series and their grass alive? Live from the MCG GGG and brought to you by Blackout Bitter with 99% alcohol, the wild world of weeds proudly presents the 27th International Grass Growing Test, Australia v England. Your host Richie Lorno with special comments from Sir Donald Blademan. So we're welcome to day 581 of the Wild World of Weeds 27th International Grass Growing Test, live from the IP Green Pavilion here at the MCG GGG. Australia declared at 25 inches on day 301, with England closing in with a very good growth rate of 18 for 280, and needing 7 inches to level over the next 21 days. A very exciting match, Sir Donald. Yes, I'm on the edge of my sleep and yawning for more. Special comment that. Now Simon Cabbage has shown good form with Brad Hedge, but looking who will partner Matthew Haybarn in the Limited Clovers Tournament, we see Glenn McGrath has joined Shane Lorne in the 600mm club when the medium pace grower showed early season form thanks to the early season, scoring a higher growth rate after the Boxing Day rest to average an average than has ever been averaged before. Sir Donald. Yes, it all sounds very average to me. Coming up later, we'll be giving you the chance to win an all-expenses-paid holiday to Weed World on the Grass Coast and an autographed bag of chook books signed by Captain Ricky Potting Mix and the entire Australian grass-growing team. But first, let's take a look at all the classic highlights over the last 300 days of this riveting grass-growing test. Well, well, what a classic. A plastic bag right out of silly mid-gully. Probably one of the most exciting days of international grass growing I've ever seen. Yes, it definitely doesn't get more exciting than that. Wonderful comment, that. Let's cross to Blood and Bony Greg on the grass with the patch report. Thank you, Richie. The Australian grass has done marvellously well thanks to Shane Lawn's excellent delivery of Chukpu and Doug Waters' foresight to bring out the sprinklers early have left the crowd excited enough to stay at home and paint their toenails while watching reruns of I Dream of Genie on another channel. But now, England has to get this terse growth rate moving right along. I'll just stick this key in the patch here and we'll see how we go. Well, it all seems to be running smoothly along here Back to you in the commentary box, Richie. Well, 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 all's looking well in what could well be a very stimulating game, Sir Donald. Pass me my coffee and two packets of no dos. Well, well, we'll be back with the Wild World of Weeds classic flashbacks right after this very exciting commercial break. <laughs> 